In a world full of movie podcasts, here is one more. Welcome to Defend Your Movie with Sean Donnelly and Andrew Fiore. The time has come again. A champion must Welcome to another episode of your favorite podcast and mine. It is Defend Your Movie. I am one of your hosts, Andrew Fiore, sitting with me as always, my pal, your co-host. You love him. You've seen him. It's Sean Donnelly, everybody. Hello there, Andrew Fiore. (laughs) We have a guest today. We got a special guest. A returning guest. A a returning guest. That's a good Donald Duck. Thank yeah, it's you. great. That's pretty good. Uh, right. Friend of the show, super funny comic. You know who this guy is. Mark Norman, Mark ladies Norman, and gentlemen. Mark Norman, everybody. We, he was around. He said, why not? Why not just hop on the old show you here? You remember from our, from our Seinfeld show, which was very popular, oh, by the way. Great. We had the a lot of messages about the Seinfeld show. We could have gone two more hours on oh, the Seinfeld. Oh, we really could. We, definitely, we should do a follow-up. Well, we should do a uh, to to plug Mark, uh, guys. Go listen to the hilarious podcast Tuesdays with Stories. Uh, Mark and Joe List. We should do a defend your movie Tuesdays mashup mashup of Seinfeld because I think with the four of us we could cover the entire well, series. I, I like the <laughs> idea, I like where your head's at, Fatty. But you bring Joe List in; he's the biggest movie cunt on the planet. Yeah, well, that's what true. Yeah, we can kind of. Oh, we could do a movie episode and a Seinfeld episode. All All right. Right. Let's just hang off. Let's just go to, to a whole weekend together in the mountains. <laughs> And then we'll just take the whole... <laughs> That's not <laughs> we'll bad. We'll bring some peyote and a couple of horse. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just see the soup Nazi in the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine the soup Nazi. I think it's for the soup Nazi in the bushes. Right. That's the peyote, man. <laughs> uh, so as promised, we did our uh, recap of the 2019 movies last week, the best of the 2019, and uh, we had some varying opinions of how those went. Me and Shawnee are very... We were, def- we were very split down the middle... Not even down the middle. We kind of really separated. You and me are usually pretty simpatico on yeah. movies. And because well, you're a big Marvel guy, that was a big year for all the Marvel uh, universe and all that stuff. And, what do you mean? Uh, I'm a Scorsese. It's not simple. They're well yeah. made. You know what? You guys have to appreciate. This is the <laughs> oh, thing, boy. man. Here we go. You have to appreciate. Nerd alert. <laughs> <laughs> you have to appreciate. Like that's why if you if you go outside the realm of like cinema, that's why people that's why the Oscars have a problem because every year they're so snobby and people go it takes a lot of effort to make these blockbuster movies. I agree. Especially ones as well made as these Marvel ones. They're well made. Sure. They're sure. well written. They're, they make a ton of money. They're well made. They're well written. They have heart to them. Now, I'm not saying every superhero or every action movie in the past, you know, is is that well made, but I'm like, but just consider that universe itself that's a qu- high quality movie making for that genre. I know, but it just worries me because it ruins the art of cinema, where you got your pulp fictions and you got your weirdo movies that can't be made anymore because they're all focused on uh, Thor. Yeah, but the thing is, this you have, to, you have to think of it this way: Would they still even say there's no Thor, there's no Marvel universe? I don't think pulp fiction, even at this point, is like and that's like mainstream because it's such a classic well, now movie. It is. Now, but in the back of the day, it was weird. No, it was weird. And You're this right. This guy was unheard of. It. Hey, I'm Tarantino, right? He was a fucking nut job. But the way media is now, it's like you don't even have those blockbusters, and then the movie industry is dead. That's because nobody's that's going to movie theaters. I think yeah. there, you kind of it, it's not a terrible time for independent movies either. Because a lot of the industry is also going back to do it yourself. Yes, you can kind of get a lot made That's without true. studio stuff involvement. Those oh. those uh, comic book movies are like the YouTube stars who keep clubs open. Yeah, yeah. They're hacks, right, they're talentless, right. and they're shit. But yeah. people come see them. Yeah, yeah, think of it this way: if Uncut Gems made those movie companies a billion dollars, you'd see it all over. There. You know sure. what I'm saying? They're just going. The thing is, this we love movies, so after a while, you don't you don't think of it as a business, but it's a business. The same way the comedy is, just like yeah, you said. Right. You got so a point. The thing about, but when you you're right about that, like it is a little bit like more. It's more popcorn. It's a little bit more cheesy. But when it's made well, when Dark you have Knight. like yeah, you, little look Dark Knight. Yeah, exactly. Brilliant. Amazing. I'll put Dark Knight up against a lot of freaking sure, movies. absolutely. Sure. Independent movie. It's like they just when well, it's made well, you can tell it's a good movie. I don't matter. It doesn't matter to me if it's cartoony or not. I just don't love the Marvel stuff. That's I'm with me. you. But here, here. 
Not to get into a whole big thing, since we got a big episode now. As we promised, uh, we did best of 2019. Now we're in the new decade. 2020 is here. So we're going to recap the best of the 2010s. We've done this with every decade. I think going back to the 60s, we did Defend Your Decade. We did the 60s. We go through the whole list, our favorite movies. Obviously, 70s, I think, was the resounding favorite for the both of us. Yeah. 70s had the most killers in it. 70s had the yeah, most. like the yeah. number one. It's, it's got it. Yeah. Well, well, even... Um, they, they, you talk to most directors from today, and like especially like cinema type, like real high end directors, and they talk about seventies was the best, the, is the actual golden era of movie making, like where yeah. because th- what we're talking about just now, how the independents they were the blockbusters in the seventies. Oh, is that right? Well, look at Chinatown, Chinatown stuff like that. that was like, independent? I mean, it's got Nicholson. Oh, it's got Nicholson. It's got uh, Roman Polanski. Not Polanski. It's got big yeah, yeah. names, but Polanski? like well, Polanski was, si- but it started the sixties. Personal story, artsy filmmaking. I mean, like, like stuff that wouldn't be yeah. happening. Uh-huh. Now, you know, you look at the movie movies now. Like Richard Gere is kind of fucked. Like like when have you seen Richard Gere in the past like five years? That gerbil thing he really f- hurt him. He <laughs> fucked up the uh, best picture last year. He was the award. He was the. Was that him? Announced oh, the award. Was that him? No, that, that, was, that was Warren Gere. Beatty. That was Beatty. That was Warren Beatty. Another handsome old white guy. Yeah, yeah. Who Warren Beatty's like retired, I think. And then when he apparently he like didn't, but Richard they, Gere's got to be. The thing up they there gave him, this. he got really upset because they like it made him look like like an old yeah. Fart. yeah I mean, old how honky. do you screw that up? But know. apparently he was like, oh, the thing they they underlined or they, whatever. I don't know how the page is set up. I, put one, put the right answer put in the there. Right, alone. It should just be one yeah. thing. Right. Yeah, don't give it a multiple choice. Exactly. You go, and the winner is, and it should be one <laughs> name of the movie right there. Right. But they probably fucking you know what it is. Somebody's trying to qualify their job. They're like, I'm in charge of the envelopes, yeah, yeah. and I have right. to put as much information as possible on this on this card inside the envelope, or the I'll envelope lose my master. job. Yeah, exactly. But. 2010s should. It's, it's funny. Interesting. Like, I, got, I went through them and I'll. Well, I got a text from you that saying like, "Wow, it's a tougher choice." Yeah, than there's you a lot think. of good ones in here. Yeah. So if you guys remember how we do this, we uh, go through just the best picture nominees, and then we'll. I'll give you guys uh, a chance to guess which one, if you remember. Uh, that actually won Best Picture. And then I wrote down a bunch of honorable mentions, stuff that wasn't nominated for Best Picture that I think over are, the 10 years? Ha- just gotten overlooked because they weren't All the right. Oscar favorites or whatever. You mean so, over the years or for Over the year? whole decade. Okay, okay. I love it. So let's start with the 2010. This was also the first decade, I believe, where they expanded the uh, nominees up to like 8 or 9 or 10. They could cap it at 10. When did it happen? Now. Was it 2010? I think it, it started in 2010. Oh, wow. Because it always used to be five and yeah. then max it. I can't believe that's been around course, for that long. It's you know, all for business. they got to yeah, have yeah, more yeah. movies in yeah. so more people watch, sure. so more people give a fuck. All right. So uh, the nominees for 2010 are Winner's Bone, True Grit, The King's Speech, 127 Hours, Black Swan, The Fighter, Inception, The Kids Are All Right, Social Network, and Toy Story 3. Ooh. If you want any of those again, I'll You're give them right. to you. right. It did start then because they put the blockbusters in there. Exactly. Toy Story 3, Inception. Uh, my guess, I think the winner was King's Speech. I agree. Correct. Yes. Um, and I didn't even. I never even saw King's Speech. I always think of it at, whenever I think of King's it's Speech. It's fantastic. I think of the English patient. I think of it like as that same kind of thing. <laughs> it's a great movie. I think they got it right. Black yeah. Swan was cool. I like that. Yeah. I liked The Fighter. Uh, Fighter's I liked, great. I liked True Grit, but it wasn't like the Coheniest of yeah, the Cohen Brothers it movies. Remake. It was a yeah. remake, yeah, yeah. And it, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't amazing. Like I don't, I feel like when that goes out of your head pretty quick. But like, I know could you, you tell me a line or anything from nah, True Grit. The remake? Right. I just know, yeah, Jeff Bridges, Rooster Cogburn, uh, Good name. but maybe not like a high rewatchability. It's but a, I know, Sean, you loved Social Network. You loved it. I love it. I, I it do great. like Social Network. Great so do you movie. think... I well, realized this. Seen. Over Sorkin. the years, I've realized I'm a big Sorkin fan. Yeah. Guy's great. I like... Even when you don't killer. know... He's killer. And, and, well, and he's one you're of those... see he had a good decade. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. It comes up again. He's one of those guys that I... I watched the movie and not realized he, he's written it. And then... You know what he wrote? A uh, Few Good Men. And I was watching yeah. clips uh-huh. from that the other uh-huh. day. The whole... I think that's that first famous movie. scene. That was the first one he wrote? I think that's so. That's first? I think that's his first fe- I mean, he was a big. He was a playwright. I Maybe, think. yeah. But he's a killer. And he I was did, a workaholic. So, well, he had West Wing after ah. that. but that, like, So I don't know if he was whatever, going back he, and forth in movies and TV. I'll tell you, man. And I, I guess it's, it might even be on here. They probably, they probably put it on as a uh, nominee. It didn't win. Jo- what is it called? Steve Jobs or Jobs? Whatever it's called. What's the uh, What's the movie called about Steve Jobs? There was one. It was. I think it's Steve Jobs. There Steve was Jobs, two. right? There was one with that Ashton sounds Kutcher. too easy, doesn't yeah. it? It sounds like too... 
Yeah, there's one with Ashton Kutcher, and then there's one with... Uh, no, not that one. The, the, the Aaron Sorkin one. Fassbender. Fassbender one. Yeah. That, not on here. Not nominated. I liked it. It's I liked it, but I liked it because it's all script. The whole thing yeah, is script. Yeah, dialogue, but it's you just, don't think about it. You don't even think about it. That's yeah. how good... You're right. You're absolutely right. That's a right. good sign. Yeah. yeah. So I think they got it right. I think out of that group, King's Speech, it was my favorite movie, but that's a good start because I never... The that kids was, are all right. It was the yeah, that yeah. was back when if, if a movie won, he just went, "Oh, it's a good movie." Now you go, "Well, eh, there's not exactly. enough women. There's no Jews. There's no Asians." <laughs> yeah, what are we you'll doing? see as we get to the latter yeah, part of the decade yeah, that, where that, that, that comes that into play. Slips in, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it was a different time. Well, they're, yeah. they're already going after this year because they said uh, six of the ten stories are about white males. The, the, the stories. Are I white mean, males. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Dan Soder. To give credit blaming. where credits due, Dan Soder, everybody, <laughs> son of a Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Big white guy. Uh, but here's the thing, though. I think, but before we get out this year, I want. Yeah, we, I think we can. We all admit Inception is a fun movie. It's fun. I feel like it's it, okay. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite. I, you know, too much. Jargon. It gets a little heady and it gets a yes. little crazy toward the end. Was but, he dreaming? Okay, at I liked the end? it. I liked it. Was he dreaming? Yeah, good cliffhanger. Great cliffhanger. Come on, cool, cool never concept. Never saw 127 hours. I, don't I never care. saw that either. Who cares? That's another one that I think I would get bored with real quick. Franco, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it is. That's all. And it I, is. I actually have never seen Winter's Bone, which was uh, set off Jennifer Renee Lawrence's Zellman. career. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. That was like our first movie, and she sprung into superstar. Great movie. Great movie. Did okay. she win for that? Is that what it was? I think she did win. She does have an Oscar. I know. Or that. no, she won for Silver Linings Playbook. Oh right. Not for this, but this was like her cu- debut. And yeah, so you think they got it right with King Speech? It's that good? Does it yes, blow so I like it a little better opinion? than Social Network. Oh, I think it's great. Jeffrey Poole or Jeffrey Rush and uh, I can't remember the Mark, lead's name. Uh, is his name Mark? Mark Paul, no, Mark's Paul his name Gosling. in the movie. No. No, it's Prince. Uh, uh, what's his uh, name? It's uh, Colin Either way, Firth. Colin Firth. Firth. They're right. both He's great. He's a handsome guy. And I, uh, it's just a good movie. Good rewatchability too. Oh yeah. So true story. That's 2010. Yeah. How about that? 2011. Here we go. Guess the best picture. We got War Horse. You got The Artist. Uh Tree of Life. Oh, The Artist. Moneyball. Midnight in Paris. Hugo. The Help. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. And The Descendants. I know which one was. That was a shit year. I think it was The Help. Incorrect. Ooh. Uh, Best picture. Give me the first couple again. Sorry. War Horse. The Artist. I'm going to say The Artist. That is correct. Thank you. Oh, The Artist won? The Artist won. Very weak year, in my opinion. Yeah, shit uh, year. How many people thought they were going to do more silent movies after The Artist? <laughs> and they didn't do shit. It was like Avatar. They're like, yeah, yeah. oh, this is the future. Right. And then it's like, nope. <laughs> uh, Descendants was good. good Clooney movie. was good. Descendants Very was much great. a downer, but it's a great movie. Who right? and, who, who uh, I think it's Descendants. Alexander Payne. Yes, it's yeah, Alexander yeah, Payne. Yeah. I think Payne is, touches his goals. Yeah. Sorkin's back again with Moneyball. Moneyball he was well He wrote the written. screenplay with that. And good that's dialogue. a good movie. I've watched that a bunch again. Yeah, that was oh. a turning point for Jonah Hill. Like, oh, he can be in a movie. Yeah. Dramatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, dramatic. Never uh, saw Extreme Loud and Incredibly Close. Jonathan Safran for, uh, book. It was like Tom Hanks, 9-11-ish stuff. It was drama, suck my ass, bullshit. Who cares? Uh, I never saw The Help. I never saw Hugo. Midnight in Paris is an underrated Woody Allen movie, I think. Solid it's a fun movie. movie. Owen Wilson's hard to take seriously, but yeah. fun movie. I never saw The Tree of Life or War Horse. But no one needs to. None of these movies appealed to me. That's why. Moneyball, apparently, you know, it's so funny what comes to light like years down the road because when it came out, everybody's like, you know, they're like louding it. It's just, it's, oh, my God, it's so great. And it is. The script is great. It's Sorkin once again. But now, one, a couple years later, like they got sued because they were like the guy who, uh, who Philip Seymour Hoffman plays doesn't look anything like Philip Seymour right. Hoffman. No, no, no. And yeah. they made him seem like he's a jackass in the movie. Right. And he's like, that was PSH like, was in there. And he's like, that wasn't what I did. Like He's uh, like, that wasn't, I didn't, you're not even, nothing is yeah. true about my Early part Chris in Chris Pratt movie. is in oh, there. Oh, yeah. Fat Pratt. Yeah. Fat Pratt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, when it comes, well, I don't even know what I would pick out of that. I guess, I'd I like the pick, Descendants. I never saw The Artist, admittedly, but I can't imagine I, me the artist is good. liking that. It's oh, good. really? All right. It's, I would it's pick good. Descendants. I just remember, uh, what's his name? Put out now that year the fartest Brian Posehn. Oh uh, yeah, the fartest. And it has the black and white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll so tell you, Descendants, I gotta rewatch that movie. Because I just watched on a plane. It holds up. It's great. Super and what's her name? Super, uh, the, the, the daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who plays the daughter? I can't. I'm, I can't remember anybody's name today. 
Nah, I don't She's know. kind of a hippie chick. Another but... really underrated movie, and I don't, I don't think it was nominated, but as a side thing, Crazy Stupid Love. You ever see Crazy oh, Stupid dude, Love? I just watched it again the other day. Wait, Very good movie. Gosling? Great movie. Gosling, Gosling, Carell, yeah, that's good. Emma Stone. With a twist that you really don't see coming. You don't see it coming at all. It's really good. I think the first time I watched it, I was sitting on my phone at home, not paying attention to it. I watched it, no joke, the other day, and really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's great. It's really good. Carell's a hell of an actor, man. He's awesome. Like a dramatic guy, obviously. Yeah. You know. He's just that talented all around. All right, 2012, kind of an under... Well, so, yeah, 2011, a little underwhelming. 2012, guest in the best picture. Here we you go. had Argo, Zero Dark Thirty, Silver Linings Playbook, Lincoln, Life of Pi, Les Miserables, Django Unchained, Beasts of the Southern wow. Wild, That's and a- Amour. That's a packed. That's a better year. Silver Linings won, right? Oh, no, maybe it didn't. I'm going to say Zero Dark Anal. You're both wrong. No, no, Argo. Fuck. Argo is Argo the correct won. pick. Argo oh, yeah. won to Argo. the surprise of everybody. Not good. It's not bad. It's you, mediocre. It's okay. I would have picked my I've favorite of the year. I've never gone back to rewatch it. I like Silver Linings Playbook out of that group the best. And, another and I don't Lawrence. love David O. Russell. I like O. Russell. Three Kings is fantastic. I heard yeah. other I rewatched and liked better than the first it's, time I saw it. I remember it's hating so it weird. the first time I saw it. Yeah. But. And then he did, uh, what was the other one he did? That was, that yeah, was, he did another one, yeah. Art goes fine. It's, it's just fine. best picture. Fine. I don't know. I saw it with my dad. He fell asleep. Apparently they re, uh, kind of re, he kind of rewrote a lot of that uh, airport yeah, scenes and yeah. stuff like that. So. We well, you know what it is. I think, isn't it the, uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm shocked. It's Baffleck, who makes a good movie when he's behind the camera. He's fine. Oh, he directed? Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. They had to throw him a director bone. No, Affleck, he did The Town. He did, he's good. He's not bad. He did... Wait, no. Cry Baby Mr. Cry? River? Great. Mr. No, River? Mr. River no, 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 is not no, Affleck. That was Sean Penn. No, that was Eastwood. Eastwood. Yeah. But he did Cry Baby Cry. Very good movie. Another Cry dark Baby one. Cry Baby Cry. Oh, good oh, no, movie. Gone Baby Gone. <laughs> gone Baby Gone. What am I talking about? I'm listening to this. The Beatles song. Cry Baby <laughs> Cry, baby, baby cry. cry. <laughs> Make your mother... Yeah, that's a good song. Uh, Zero Dark Thirty was all right. Uh, Usually they give it to the war movie. American Sniper, the other one. Lincoln, I think, obviously, Daniel Day won for Best yeah, Actor. Yeah, boy, that was a snooze. Huh? Silver Linings Playbook. <laughs> it was. Boy, was that Jennifer long. Lawrence won for that. Yeah. I never saw... Uh, did I see Life... No, I didn't see Life of Pi. Who's the cool black guy in that? Life of Pi? No, no, no. Silver Linings? Yeah. He's got the black friend who helps him dance. Oh. Is it Chris Tucker? Yeah, Might it's be Chris, Chris Tucker. Tucker. I think it's, it's Chris, Chris Tucker. Tucker. Yeah, and he's like, you guys don't have no rhythm. You know, <laughs> yeah, it is. And, he, and then also you thought Chris Tucker was – when I saw that, I was like, oh, he's coming back. And then he didn't do that hour. But I remember like, liking him after. in the movie being like, oh, he's not really Chris Tucker-ish. Yeah, yeah, he's it's pretty... not over the top. Yeah, he's, he's fat. Chris, talk about fat. He's fat Chris Tucker in it. He's is like fatter. He? <laughs> I think he is fatter, yeah. Never saw more. Uh, I think – I never saw Beast of the Southern Wild. It's good. Good. That little she, I she think that little black got girl nominated. got nominated or something. Yeah, yeah. Did somebody get in trouble? Somebody called her a cunt. And what? Said, on Twitter? Or something? Yeah, on Twitter. Jeez, and they like that's they, hilarious. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. I actually saw Les Miserables sitting at home one day with my parents. It's my mom's like favorite play of all time. Zero interest. Yeah, it was just Russell Crowe. You yeah, can't sing. Buddy. Get out of here, Crow. stop it. <laughs> uh, so Jean, yeah, Jean. not another great year though, but. I would have given it to but Silver Linings. But these are packed. Well, Django Unchained, right, you said, too? Yeah. yeah that was long, fun. Long. I'm surprised that was nominated for Best Picture, though. That's what I mean. When they expanded it to 10, you've you got some it. that you don't necessarily deserve to be in there. Yeah, it's like when you have a horse race, and it's the, the odds are 99-1. <laughs> right. right. All right. When they put those horses in there, just like, I don't know why. Tell me what you boys think of 2013. Guess the Best Picture. Gravity, Her, Nebraska, mm. Philomena, mm. Wolf of Wall Street, mm. 12 Years a Slave. Wolf of Wall Street? That bombed. That's when they're trying to help Scorsese because they've, they've yeah. had nothing for so long. Yeah, he did. Oh, Wolf of Wall yeah. Street. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's absolutely I'm him. thinking uh, Wall Street, too. The- oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know why I just electric thought that. Bo- electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Cry, baby, cry. Sorry. Oh, Wolf of Wall Street wasn't bad. Yeah, but you're right. It was like a re- uh, Yeah, he won yeah. for The Departed, which is a uh, sacrilege. This is a great year. Thank though. you. Wait, what else? Is that it? 12 Years a Slave, American Hustle, Captain. Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club. Good 12 year. Years a Slave won. Correct. Yeah. But here's the thing. Would Not you... my favorite of the year. No. Well, you're white. No, the guilt's kicking in. Wait, what did you say in the beginning? You had one of my favorites. Gravity, Her, no, Nebraska. No, is amazing. Horror is... Right. What? You guys are out of your mind. Out of this one? You're a sappy twat. <laughs> 
You don't th- come on. It was good. It was funny. It was ah, like, he was walking around. He looked all pedophilia with that mustache. mustache it just was didn't... weird. It was a little ahead of its time. That's why you don't like the movie because of how he looked. No, I'm just. It was like a hipster joking. dude, like tech guy thing. The other thing is this: great idea. You're of... taking it out of con. You're conflating. Hold on, I'm not done saying. Great idea of what the future would look like. Like it's a it's a very good like 15 year it's down subtle. the road. It's very subtle. <laughs> it and it's a, one of my favorite parts ever in a movie is in it when when <laughs> at one point she goes. Uh, he she goes hold on because she has to go talk to somebody else. That's oh, what yeah. I was just gonna say. And, and he goes and he goes, are you talking to other people at the same time you're talking to me? And then she goes, yes. <laughs> and he goes, how many? She goes, five thousand seven hundred twelve. Yeah, it's like <laughs> three million. <laughs> Come on, that's a oh, great no. line. I mean, for a guy who gets jealous, I would, couldn't handle that. Yeah, right. Even with, <laughs> even with your operating system. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but it's but I think it's well, well really well made and like. Well, I was going to say it's not, it was I way don't... different than I thought it was going to be. It was way better than I thought it would be. Who did? I agree with that. It's Charlie Kaufman. No, oh, no, no, no. Spike a... Jones directed. Spike right? Jones. Oh, I like Jones. And Kaufman wrote, or Kaufman didn't write. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Okay. They're both I liked good. Dallas but... Buyers Club out of that group. That was my. That I thought it was oh, great. Man. Movie. Great McConaughey movie. got all AZ. It was Big fantastic. Swing for McConaughey. That was him. Like I can act. Fuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That also, I think what he. Wa- I think he was getting turned down. I think he was at a, like a real slump after Fools. Well, Gold he made yeah. eighteen rom coms that were just all the same thing. Ten was, things I hate about Fool's your Gold, asshole. Fools Gold, I think, did it where he, they were like, "Nah, you're kind of done." This right. is in my honorable mention. There was a good. I might not even qualify. You ever seen Mud? Another Mud's really, good. yeah, really good. Oh, it was Mud's good. Movie. I never, I didn't think it looked. It's good. very good. Mud's good. Uh, I liked Gravity. I didn't think it was I that. Gravity. Uh, I liked that's her. That's Sam Rockwell, right? No, no that was no, no. Clooney and uh, Sandra Bull. And Sandra Bull. Fuck. Um, okay. It was that there was a couple of those space movies that year. It was by those the Mexican guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quaron. Oh, uh, Alfonso Quaron. Antonio. Oh, okay. Or maybe I'm wrong. Anyway. Uh, Gravity never saw, but I did like. I liked her a lot. I really yeah, did. I liked her, but it wasn't out of this group. Nebraska got a lot of critical. I love Bruce it's, Dern. Bruce Dern is fantastic Get in relax Nebraska. Relax over there. You <laughs> turn it red. <laughs> <laughs> because I, 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 I don't know. Like, how do you not like Nebraska? It's fantastic. I, didn't say, I said I like Nebraska. It's, it's a little just, overrated. I'm comparing it. To, I thank you. I think Will Forte was a little miscast, oh. even though I love him. But didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he write it? Or didn't he? Like, I don't think he, he wrote something it. Something involved in it. I, I love Bruce Dern. I thought it was great. It was a resurgence for him, but it just wasn't my favorite out of this group. It's the JoJo like Rabbit of its time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bruce Dern, uh, he's great in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood too, and he kind of plays the same kind yeah, of yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Exactly. He's just he's crazy old guy. Now. Wolf of Wall Street was fun. Great, fun Scorsese movie. I liked it way better than The Parted. It is. Same. I liked it better way than The Parted. Absolutely. Yeah. Way better. Um, Margot Captain Ro- Phillips Margot- was a fun hold one. On, hold on. Margot Robbie and. Oh. and oh. I mean, oh. What the hell are we doing here? Might be one of the hottest roles I'm ever. Gonna... Of, even with her Staten Island accent. Oh, oh, oh my god. Isn't that why I like it? What? Especially she's Australian. And she nailed it. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so hot. They so called great. her the bombshell of Bay Ridge or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> god damn. Um, here's one you guys might be surprised with. Another David O. Russell movie. I did not like American Hustle. Had a big hey. ensemble cast. I hated it. I hate it was it. okay. It was it's it's like a cable movie that's watchable. Yeah. You know? uh, I, I I we talked about it before because we we've done verses on the podcast a while ago. Josh Gondelman came in and defended American Hustle. Hated it. Yeah. I ha- hated it because hated it. <laughs> men on film <laughs> because uh, I. I think it's such. First off, it's a wannabe Scorsese movie. Yeah, it's com- yeah. it is. It could Absolutely. not be more apparent. And also, the whole idea. First off, it's listed as a comedy. Another thing is, it I listed, hate when they do that. And then it's listed as a comedy because it's like, hey, check this out. Beautiful people dressing up fat and bald and ah. frumpy, and and then the, the, it's like them trying to show they. It, but it's weird because it's also a comedy, so you're going over the top with your being ugly. Right. It's yeah, like so. Yeah. It's not like when Christian Bale's like, I lost all this weight. For this role, or uh, even the fighter, was like I basically became a crackhead fighter for the fighter. Amazing. Fighter was great, and he was great in it. But with this one, I'm like, nah, you're just a bunch of cornballs. Terrible casting. Jeremy Renner, who I don't mind, I like him in. Um, well, he's one, one of those guys. He likes to use the same people. Uh, you know what I mean? Scorsese. I agree. I'm with you. But it's also don't book. Jeremy Renner as the right, fucking right. fifty-five-year-old mayor from That's Jersey all. City, or whatever uh, it is. You need a, you get a, get yeah. A, uh, what's his name? Didn't look right with like the uh, the a curls. Pompadour. Oh, yeah, uh, what's yeah, um, yeah. Bradley. Brad Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. Brad Cooper. Like I know. Hanging him. With Bradley Cooper. Cooper. Uh, but I just I have an issue with that. I have an issue with that movie because it's not that great. It's but not has, great. But it has good yeah. people in it, and it's like you guys, you just fucked up. You thought you could pull this. It's up, very and miscast. You should have known. It's very miscast. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Two thousand thirteen. 
pretty good year, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Let's see what 2014 has for us. All right. You guys guessed. The Imitation Game, Grand Budapest Great Hotel, movie. Boyhood, American yeah. Sniper, Birdman, yeah. Yeah. Selma, yeah. The Theory of Everything, yeah. and Whiplash. Big wow. year. Big year. I, uh, love uh, I love Whiplash. I love Whiplash. Birdman won, though. I don't remember, so I'm going to say Birdman. Birdman won. Yeah. Okay. Good for both of you. That's the another Latin filmmaker, Antonio Sal- Salvador or something that was named. Sure. Right? I don't and know. Tell, uh, Alejandro. Uh, Alejandro. Alejandro. Yeah, something. something. That's a bit weird. Go down the list again because I kind of forget them. Whiplash, the, the Theory of Everything, Selma, Imitation Game, Grand Budapest Hotel, Boyhood, American Sniper, and Birdman. Okay, I'm going to Good a, year. I'm making a confession. I've never seen Whiplash, and I should have watched it. It's fantastic. Killer. You know why I was seen it? Because they have that one. I love those things online where they go from the script. They oh, show yeah, you yeah, yeah. Scrolling from the script, and then they, have, they play the scene above it. Screen, the, script to screen. Script to screen. And they, and they the the Whiplash one is so intense, that scene. I'm like, it's I, an intense movie. I have, intense. To be, I have to be able to JK watch Simons it. J.K. Simons won. Simmons. 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 Simmons, sorry. Simmons. He won uh, Best Supporting. All right. And Great it's honest. fantastic. Yeah, really good, and, and it really relates to comedy. Selfishly, very no, very oh, much so. It? Oh yeah, and I'm a big fan of like that music. I vote that always kind of fascinated Buddy me, like Rich. Virtuosos. Yeah, Love it. who I take outside and tell you how it is? Who directed Whiplash? Um, oh Jesus, Somebody you've heard kill of. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really was good. Uh, uh, crud. Uh, Grand Budapest. Can I just say that was that was uh, what's his fucking Wes Anderson, Wes Anderson just jizzing on himself too much. He took a, he forgot the story and just went all in with the set Damien design. Cazelle, by the way, with the editing, oh, okay. it's not enough movie. It's not enough story. See, I liked Grant. I like. I don't this mind Wes that one Anderson. as much as Moonrise Kingdom. I hate Moonrise. Kingdom. I, I see. That's. Moonrise I thought Kingdom. this was more of a Wes Anderson movie. I go. This feels like he's getting back on track. Right? No, I hate Moonrise Kingdom. It's, he's. That's what he's saying. He's I, saying I know it's too much, track. Track. which I usually okay. don't like. You but know, I, when, I when Al Pacino's this. like, "Hello, I'm Al Pacino." <laughs> You're like, "Are oh, you being too Pacino? Yeah, You've right. gone in on yourself." And well, I feel like he was doing that a little bit. And I feel like I've said this a bunch of times in the podcast. Apparently, you know, the, the farther he gets away from Owen Wilson, that's why that happened. Yeah, oh. yeah. because oh. Owen Wilson is like real world based, and and Wes Anderson. So that's why you had Bottle Rocket was both of them, so and also they didn't have the budget. But no, but even but then Rushmore and. He's basically Russell just making great. storybooks into film. Like yes. that's basically what happened. And even Moonrise Kingdom has that like cutesy, we're at camp, like everything's yeah. everything's yeah. cute. Didn't thing. love it. Moonrise Kingdom, I don't like. I don't know if it's on. It might be later in the in the I don't years. Think so it is not. It's not nominated. It shouldn't <laughs> be. It's not a good movie. I enjoy. But uh, Birdman had that. It was fine. It had that. Made, she made it look or uh, like he made it look like it was one long. Which shot. apparently that's not true. I heard. Yeah, I think it was just tricky editing. Which is really that's interesting. I love to see it's the not spots like, where it cuts. Uh, Altman in the beginning of uh, yes, you know yes. when it's just traditional one shot for right. the whole, and you got very coolly done. Uh, uh, Birdman was good, but I, I was surprised Birdman wasn't I've never seen the black ones. <laughs> I haven't seen Selma either. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of uh, <laughs> we're showing our cards well, here a little bit. Sometimes you go, it's just, I know it wouldn't interest yeah, me. Yeah, I, I know the ending. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the theory of everything I liked fine. I usually um, when I go to the black movies come up, I go, I just go, I'm not gonna, I, everything's fine. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm kidding. What are you, what are you complaining about? And also, <laughs> I mean, we're, no, honestly, I wasn't in line to see Tubman, you know, the, when it came out. Well, that also, I mean, well, the that way they, they market, marketed that movie, I don't think anybody was. That movie was marketed like it was an like action movie. It was movie. like Idris <laughs> Elba with a machine gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like Lethal Weapon three, four, 5. Uh, imitation Game, I thought was cool. I like those truish stories, World War Two, especially, where that there's like code breaker one. shit. I, yeah. That interests me. Good acting. Uh, boyhood, I hated. I hated don't it. love Richard Linklater movies at all. I'm with you. And I thought boyhood. this was just kind of more jerk off. The kid off. wasn't likable at all. Yeah. I, mean, I hated the kid. That's what's got to be the funny thing, too. It's like you think you get this kid, and then five years in, you're like, oh, this kid turned out to be a prick. Yeah. But I'm stuck with him. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Which I guess is realistic for a parent. Um, but but here's the thing. What do you think, of, do you think of the, the technique of boyhood, though? You think that's. Hey, I think that's. Oh, it that's got cool. that's overhyped the other trick. That's the because only- of it. You're probably right. It's the only good part of it. That's the the, the hook. You're kind of like, oh, yeah. that's, it's kind of cool they did that, but the movie itself kind of stinks. Traditionally, yeah. people, I don't love his but films. But people like talked about. I didn't watch it because I'm kind of, I'm on your side with that. I don't like Richard Linklater that much. You don't Me like Days and Confused? That's always my but caveat. You know what, though? That's always my. But I that's so like early that on in his career. Yeah, but it's one of those movies that like I think somebody else could have pulled off Days and Confused. I don't think I you do needed him it. to All do right. it. It does holds a. Fond my memory in my heart. Yeah, I'm a sappy queen. Fucking hippies though. love that movie. And uh, <laughs> Before Sunset is great. 
Yeah, it's I never got dialogue. into those movies. It's all dialogue, and it's just it's a, it, you've been there. It's so relatable that that one great date you've had where everything's clicking and connecting, and you're feeling falling for each yeah. other. You don't go to bed; you're talking all night. He captures that. I he has he's the other one too. Me. After sunset, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And that American Sniper is just a, uh, it's a good movie. Never saw it. Never saw it. Good, but true I loved, story. Uh, the Bradley one, Cooper, the, the bomber one, the the the. the the few bomb diffuser one with with uh, oh, Hurt Renner. Locker. Her Locker. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one, I think. I think it did. It did. It did. But that All was, right. That, what year is that? Two thousand nine or something. Yeah, like I think that. that was earlier. Lady. That's director. your twenty fourteen. Moving on to twenty fifteen, gang. Ooh. Here's a big one, I think. Spotlight, The Big Short, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, and Room. Wow, I'm gonna good guess. Year. You want to guess first? Because I, I keep guessing first. I think Spotlight won. Shawnee. Yeah, Spotlight. You are both two for two in the last round. Wow! Spotlight was and the also, winner. I'll tell you right now, Spotlight, my favorite movie out of all those movies. Come on. It's great. Too much kid fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I also think... Shawty goes, that's fine. Not that's enough. That's why I love that. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I, only, I strictly watch movies with kid fucking. Oh, yeah. I'll just start room... She won Brie Larson. Is that Brie Larson? Yeah. I think yeah. she won. She won Best Actress. Nailed it. Revenant Leo won Best Actor. Nailed it. Liked The Revenant a lot. I liked Room 2. Nailed it. I really liked Martian. Duh. You didn't like it? I never it watched mediocre it. mediocre at best. Also, and it was re- under comedy. It was under comedy. It is. Comedy yeah. Bullshit. But I thought Damon was great in it. I, I, it's got a good outside cast. Yeah. I rewatched it at home one time. I was like, this is, you know what it is? That might be it. It's a fun, you watch it on FX on a Sunday. Right, and you'll right, kill it. You know, right. maybe this, maybe one of the defenders can help us. Why do they do that? Why do they list those movies as comedies when they're I not don't comedies? Know. It's got to be a rules thing. Like it's got to be you know something. Why? There, it's, he makes it almost a little jokey. I can a see little jokey doesn't count as a full on comedy. No, but not that it has to be slapstick. But it's one of those things where it's like, well, that's just the Golden Globes, though. That's where they do where they no. separate them. It's not no. the Oscars. They don't have no, comedy but separate, no, but I'm saying, but if you, I think if it comes up, you put it on iTunes, it comes up as comedy. Uh, yeah, I mean, they bend the uh, rules for those also, th- heavily. Big Short, what's your thoughts? Big Short was great. Well written. I thought it was fantastic. And Not Adam McKay did Oscar, win though, the but... best original screenplay for. Oh. Um, it's really good. Really it's really good. good. And it made that I world rewatched that. understandable. Yeah, he just I don't know anything yeah. about Jesus Christ, we got shit. swindled. I think that's why he now, that's why him and Will Ferrell are, are done. Why? Oh, really? Because he's trying, I think he's trying to. No, no, no. I think he's trying to make. They split up their company. What? Uh, Gary Sanchez, whatever it is. I think it's because they're trying to. Um, he's trying to. I think Adam McKay is going to try to do more serious stuff. Ah. Uh-huh. That's what it seems like to me. I don't know. That's what I heard. All I right. Here's a movie that I saw the first time. I didn't think it was going to be for me, but then it turned out I loved it. it was Fury Road. I loved it. Was That's that a non stop, right? War II? No. No, just... that's Mad Max. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of Fury. No, <laughs> Fury that's Road a, was good. That's a non-stopper, right? What do you mean? I heard that's, yes, that's yes. just there's non-stop oh, yeah. action. Oh, in that yeah. Shot. It's, yeah, yeah, they're just. I've never seen. I have to watch it. Was, I was like, it's great. Charlize like, Theron is always really good. She's good. She is usually she's a talented African American. <laughs> she yes. she is an African. Um, she's a, she's amazing. I heard even in, I didn't see Bombshell, but I heard she I becomes Megyn Kelly and yeah. like like they give her like a new I nose. It. And it's she, unbelievable. Yeah. Oh really? You're watching Megyn Kelly. Oh cool. All, All right, right. good year. year? Uh, Twenty sixteen, very split for me in all these. Uh, Arrival, Moonlight, Fences, Hacksaw Ridge, Hell or High Water, Hid- Hidden Figures, La La Land, Lion, and Manchester wow. by the Sea. You're all over the map in this year. Uh, I know what one. And this is what you're saying later, Mark. Yeah, I know which one won. You Moonlight. Know yeah, Moonlight. Moonlight. Yeah. This is what we're saying. These start. You're starting to see a little bit of. Some movies I don't think deserve to be in there creep in. Like which ones? Moonlight. Uh, <laughs> I, everybody loved that movie. I didn't love it. Okay, uh, right. I didn't. Uh, there's another movie. I actually hated La La Land. I, I did like not hate La La Land. I did not. I thought I was going to because of how much people were bad. Now here's it. another thing. But one of my favorites is in there. I know. Yeah, I know. You love Hell or oh, High Water. Hell or High Water, baby. Uh, Hidden Figures. Fine movie. Does not need to be a Best Picture nominee. Fine film, but it, might have been, wasn't it, it was Clint Eastwood, wasn't it? Or no, no, it was, I don't uh, think it was Clint Eastwood, but it's about the African American ladies who are, you know, I, the the real mathematicians behind. Oh uh, yeah, it was I a go, solid movie. It was a fine picture, but it's Disney. But that's know? happened over the all of time. I, I guess so. But yeah. if you had to cap this at five, 
that's not going to be one of them. Right, right. Hell or High Water would have been is my fa- probably my favorite. I love those. that movie. The only problem with that movie is it's hitting those archetypes that have kind of been done to death. The crazy brother and the quiet right. one coming together. You know, it kind of hits that old. It's no- good, but the good performances are good. It's a good yeah. version of that. Anyway, what's the first one you said? First couple you said. Uh, Arrival, great. Arrival, I like too. Me solid, too. Solid, solid. Uh, uh, but not hated but Moonlight. Also, Arrival, not fences. For... I can't even recall fences. Hidden fences. Which one? Oh uh, no, uh, I know what fences. Denzel. Denzel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. Didn't see it. Yeah. Arri- <laughs> Arrival. I don't think should have been on that list either. I don't think. I it's agree. Not for best. Yeah. Hacksaw Ridge Water, was. Yes. Um, the kid was like uh, religiously opposed to I fighting the war, case. but he Andrew saved Garfield? everybody. True story. Yeah, yeah, Andrew Garfield. He's also he's Australian. That kid is he? Yeah, he's very he's handsome. From New Zealand or something. Uh, yeah, then Hidden Figures, La La Land. I, what was I don't remember Lion either. Oh, Lion oh. was good. Lion's good. It's about uh, an Indian kid who gets adopted by an Australian family, and he's trying to find his roots. Oh, that was great. It's good. Yeah, yeah. that was a good movie. Say Lion. It's I like that movie. But Hell or High Water, still. Uh, Manchester by the Sea, too. That was good. Great movie. Well acted. Obviously a bunch, bit of a downer. Well, well acted. A <laughs> bit, bit. Kids burned to death. Casey <laughs> Affleck. This was, remember, the shit had came out. He got Me too or something, but he still won the award. Oh, he just yeah. went up. He was like, thanks very much. And, <laughs> and bounced. Yeah. Full beard. They were and you could mad. see people weren't quite too happy. Yep. Uh, yeah, so 2016. Decent year. Decent year. So you're saying Moonlight should have won. What, so what should have won, your eyes? Uh, what? I probably would have picked Manchester by the Sea out of those as my I'm favorite. I'm actually surprised that didn't win. I think, I think that maybe, might, shit might have had something to do with it. Isn't they're getting to the point where they're like, no more Boston movies. <laughs> Stop with the Boston. We have had enough of that fucking New England <laughs> accent. <laughs> Pack the car. This is being an interesting car. year to hey, hear what you guys Have I said this in the podcast before? You know, Pack the car and have it yacht. Do you know what separates the... Par- park the car and park the car. What the do you mean? Connecticut River. Ah. So the accent's on one side of the river, but not on the other. I did not know that. It's, it's British Orient, right? Oh, the accent might be, but yeah. I'm saying they got to a certain point, didn't cross the river, and that was why. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. 2017, The Shape of Water, Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. That was a shit movie that got blown way out. I don't Whoa. mind it. <sighs> three billboards. Yeah, that was, was a cartoon. That was a very, like, <laughs> that's a movie that was made almost, first of all, another playwright that made it, that wrote right. it. And it was the vibe of that movie is like, we're going to win an Oscar with this. Yes. Like, it was Sometimes trying Sometimes Francis McDormand can be like that. Yeah, well, you know what that I movie didn't mind was? It, though. That was let, let's take all the shit of today and put it in a Cuisinart and make that. Yeah, it was like yeah, the yeah. strong female, racist cop, killing Ra- men, yeah. racist cop, the the woman who or the black guy who's uh, underappreciated. They'll just put it all together in a gumbo and then that's and the that's movie. what one isn't it? No, no, a uh, ladybird. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. What was the first couple? Call me by your name. Shape of water. Shape of water. Shape, Shape of, water. of water. Mark's good. Yeah. But Lady Bird. Fucker. What about Lady Bird? Loved it. Love Lady Bird. Loved, yeah, like, cried in the theater. Did you? I oh, got to go back. Yeah. And, he loves it so much. Wow, it makes me think I'm missing something. I love I gotta it. Go, I got to go back. I, I saw it. I was like, yeah, it's great. I, I got better it. coming of age films. You, had, you came out of that at the second time. You go, top ten of all time. I love it. <laughs> I love yeah, it, too. I, yeah, but I, I love it. That's my favorite kind of movie. It's, yeah. But I remember going into it thinking, like, it's going to be like Juno. Like, I remember mm. thinking, like, eh, it'll be another Juno. And I'm like, oh, my God. This is right, so. right, right, right. And also, hi, uh, what's her name? Laurie Metcalf is yeah, awesome. She's always great, a beast. Man. Always a beast. I saw that on a double date. And my friend's girlfriend was like, I, don't, I didn't get it. And I, I told my friend, I was like, you gotta, you got to leave her. <laughs> like, that's, a, that's a deal breaker. But also, shocking, if you know Mark Norman, shocking that you just said you cried, don't I'm you? I'm a big movie gusher. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, take me I'm much a either. What, uh, what, what, the what, post what? was fine. It was, you know, uh, just like. That's another one that's like uh, the, the blue chip, the stalwart. The, right, right, yeah. right. The, the Street Hanks Here's just doing one. anything. I love me some Paul Thomas Anderson, but I didn't love Phantom Thread. Yeah, I love him too, but I, it's I'm It's not with my you. favorite Paul Thomas. Yeah. Movie. And that was that the last one that uh, was, uh, what's his that's, name? They say that's, well, he says. He that's, said he retired. He's Daniel that Day. He's going to retire. He's like 35. No, Daniel Day. Daniel Day. Oh, he said, I'm retiring from acting. He'll be back. He'll be back. And but I, I didn't know, know this, that fucking Once Upon a Time was Tarantino's penultimate. Penultimate. Yeah, he's going to make one, one more. more. He says one more. He's uh, going 10 to TV. features. All right. Well, he'll, he'll get a billion dollars to go uh, to Netflix. Darkest Hour was kind of boring to what me. What was that? Uh, the um, what was the famous British guy? 
Churchill's. Churchill's, Churchill's like uh, a Churchill. Yeah, or with, Snooze. With Gary Dunkirk Oldman? was uh, Was Gary Oldman uh, yeah. Churchill in that? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like Dunkirk. Dunkirk was good. Uh, get Out, I didn't get the hype, but I liked it. Get Out is great. It's a thriller. It's, yeah, it's right. really well done. Like It's a thriller. It's a comedy. It's, uh, I it's thought it was not gonna drama, win. but... The, it won you know Best what, Screenplay. You know what Get Out's I liked on? it. Fine. Uh, great rewatcher. Rewatch yeah, Get Out. You, know, you notice 15 different things you didn't notice. That's true. Like about what they say to each other, like a look or this or that. All, All right. right. 2018, Vice, A Star is Born, Roma, The Favorite, Bohemian Rhapsody, Black Klansman, Black Panther, and Green Book. A lot of colors in there. Black Panther, that was a big shocker that they were like, oh, you're putting a Marvel movie in for right. Oh, yeah. I think Roma uh, won that one. It did, right? Yeah. Wrong. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait say them again? Say them again. Vice, A Star is Born, Roma, The Favorite, Bohemian Rhapsody, Black Klansman, Black Panther, and Green Book. Oh, Green, Green Book. Book won. Green Sorry. Book won. Which it shouldn't have won. Which it shouldn't that, have won. You want to talk about a uh, like a, like a, like a preschool or pre um, <laughs> right. play school version of like a, a dramatic race movie? It was oh my god! Really? I never saw it. Yeah, uh, Peter Farrelly did it. it. Peter Farrelly did it. The Dumb and what? Dumber guy. Yeah, did yeah. It. Not that I'm saying I'm well, not good trying for to. Him. He won an Oscar, but still. But you'll watch it and you'll go, oh, you could get way deeper on this. It's oh, like really? one moment. They don't mention the guy. The, I guess the pianist was uh, was gay. The only time they mention it in the movie, I'm just going to say it. If you haven't seen it, you know, spoiler ahead, is he goes to a bathhouse and then he and then uh, Viggo Mortensen picks him up from the bathhouse and doesn't say a word about it. That's the only mention the whole time. Not that it has to be the whole movie, but it's like, oh, then he was de- it was way deeper than there was all this shit going on. You could have yeah, it was a bit a little paint by numbers kind of movie. It was very I was paint surprised by numbers. One, there was I thought a Star Is Born was going to win, which I liked fine. I liked it. I liked yeah, it. I liked it. Fine. Was amazing. I was, Vice was okay too. And I Vice never sucked. I didn't. I, oh wait, no, no. I'm thinking of something else. Vice was okay. I couldn't get through Roma. And that was supposed. I started. I watched ten minutes I of that. Couldn't do it, dude. It's, it was well, very what was the artsy. other one. The other one was amazing. Bohemian Rhapsody was eh, fine. Eh, the favorite was my favorite, favorite one of the year. Was cr- incredible. Thank you. I, I never saw, saw it. Oh, I, I told you. Howling. Remember, I told you to watch it. Yeah. I, I saw it recently on HBO, and I was like. That's a fantastic movie. And it's everything you think you won't like. You're like exactly. It's a bunch of women complaining in the Middle Ages. Who gives a fuck? But it's amazing. It's so funny, so yeah, well written, like, oh, captivating. Yep. Bohemian right. Rhapsody was fine for a you know biopic. Black Clans when I hated. I couldn't. I, fin- okay. I didn't even finish it. That's again a cable flipper. All right, I'll I'll watch twenty. And I like Black Panther fine. It's for you know me. I'm Got not like a book. big Marvel movie. Black guy, Panther but- is by by far not the best Marvel movie. I think they were just like, hey, we have to put a Mar- this yeah. is the Marvel movie this year. They made a ton of money. We need people 1. to watch the show. Bill. One point three billion. Yeah. All we do is talk about how racist we are in America, and all these black movies are killing it and making a ton of money. Well, that's now. That's in the past three years. I know, but let's stop calling us racist now and start calling us <laughs> racist then. That's all I'm saying. We're not so racist, folks. We love brown yeah. people. For real. So you heard it here first. The final year, and then I got some ones I think we might have missed that weren't nominated. So here's 2019. We don't know what won. But just to get your thoughts, or we can pick our favorites from this list. The nominees are Ford vs. Ferrari, Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. Shawnee, I know you're picking Little Women, so we'll start with you. <laughs> I know it's going to win. Jojo Rabbit's up for best pick? Yeah. Uh, this is, I know, you hated it? All it's ten. so overrated. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, and it's, I want to see it because people love it. I anything. It's fine. I know it's going to win. 1917 is going to win. Really? I think so. I haven't seen it yet either. I'm those are the, oh, those are the two I haven't seen. I haven't seen it either, but I but I, oh, I haven't seen Ford it. versus Ferrari either. That's fun, I've, but it's not a best picture. Right. Oh, uh, actually, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood might, might, might win. No, yeah. well, no, I mean, no. I think it actually winning the Golden Globe hurt him for the Oscars. Agreed. Why? I just usually think they're like tired of or... Tarantino. I know it's sometimes a, a forecast, but... How are you tired of Tarantino? Especially I, I got Keith's... a weird feeling... Parasite's going to be the first I think it's foreign n- it's, film it's, to win it's that best, good, huh? best I picture. It. It's 1917 it's and Parasite. I'm going to watch it. I'm watching it tomorrow. I loved it, man. I'm watching it It tomorrow. was great. Par- the se- after two minutes, the subtitles, you don't even think about it. I haven't seen it either. And not that they ever really do, but when it's, the, when it's, a, when it's a really good movie, you really don't think about it. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I loved Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Loved Not it. my favorite Tarantino, but I still <laughs> liked it. You know, I talked about it last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we I talked a, about it at night. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a fan, too. It's so pretty. I, well, we, when I went to see it the first time, it was me and you. Yeah, we, you, we saw it. Yeah. 
I walked out of there like I didn't. I was into that, and then I've watched it like three times since then. Me it's, too. It, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so great. I saw it alone in one of those like nice theaters with the reclining, and I had yeah. a full beer. I had a sandwich in front of me, and I was just like, I don't want this to end. <laughs> yeah, and it was amazing. <laughs> and they're coming out with a four-hour version apparently. Oh it might go to Netflix. <laughs> boy, I just love the detail. I, I yeah, appreciate yeah. all yeah. of it. And That's Norman, why it's is... great. That's why it's great. Yes. the detail. Yeah, yeah. Like, Beautiful those, to look at. When those neons come on at night. Reddit does. Yeah, oh, I do love that. Just the little things like that. And the sound editing nails it with that. Yeah. Like, I think you can even hear the. Yeah, yeah. And then Brad Pitt is so fun. He's shirtless. Brad Pitt's great. He's hot, and he's tough. The narration over that last night when the couples go out and all that kind yep. of stuff is is perfect. It's just it it comfortable. It. It's just not my favorite Tarantino. That's it's all a I'm saying. Comfortable I agree. Movie. It's not the best Tarantino by far. It's not the best Tarantino, but I'm like. But I do like when he goes out of his own box. Sure. Like like in Glorious Bastards, I love it. Love I it. Love it. Love it. But it's not very it's not as Tarantino as the other ones. Django, mm. Tarantino y. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking like you're thinking like, you know, you got when you're you're mixing together. Go back and give Hate Flay another pass. I, I loved will, it the second time. I enjoy it. It's, Me it's too. probably my least favorite Tarantino. Okay. Or, you know, I don't know. Uh Joker I loved. We you know, both loved it. I thought it was great. Is Joker you know? on there? Is yeah, it? it's nominated. Oh, it is nominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joker is... I think Joker should be on there. Absolutely. Definitely. I don't think it's going to win, but I think it should be on there. How is that not on there? It, it is. is. It is. Oh, it is. oh yeah. But I'm just great. saying, I think it, it deserves to be on there. Yeah, yeah, and obviously, that should be acting more than picture. That's a char- That's a straight-up character study, and it's and it's, like he's holding up the whole thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's, it, well, I mean, yeah. Great original score, too. She won for Golden Globes, the uh, whatever, composer, I guess. What do you what do you think is going to win? That's a great. I think Parasite might take oh, it. Oh, you said yeah. that already. Yeah, seventeen and, and Parasite are I think yeah. neck and neck. Is that what you think? Yeah, maybe Once Upon a Time has no chance. But I'm like, you never know. That's the thing about That's this Hollywood it. Foreign Press. Thing. Oh no, no, who who does the Oscars? The Academy themselves. Uh, yeah, yeah, you do never know. It's all voted on, so you really do like. I don't know. People are going to vote what their political conscience. Like, actually, uh, a lot can of people you? do. I think. Can you this year? I guess you can't because what is, what's the, what's the uh, the woke pick? Well, parasite. Asians are hot right now. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> that's got a lot they to do are. with it. That fact that it's a southern South Korean movie. So probably will win then. Yeah. So it Parasite. Did, you know. I mean, look at it. You got Ronnie Chang. You got SNL. <laughs> Ali Wong. First Asian. Ali Wong's killing it. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians killing it. Aquafina. Uh, Call Me Maybe or whatever the Oof. fuck. Asians Which, uh, are cooking. The, the, the trailer for that show. Oh, Yikes. yeah. That's a, it's a <laughs> obvious. It's like, here's a new show with Aquafina. Like, oh, yeah. The show is in the back seat to her, which is never a good sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, did hear great things about The Farewell, though, which is a movie she's in. Uh, Aquafina. I, did, I, did too, oh. actually. I haven't seen it, but I, I've one of my buddies from college. She said, hey, "I watched it with my wife. It was great." I think I just hate her name. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it either. I'm like, I'm, you named it after a water brand. I'm, I'm Dasani, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just to wrap up, that was the year, in, the decade in movies. I wrote down a few that weren't nominated, mostly that I loved, but we'll see what you guys think of it. These are just some honorable mentions for me. We both loved Mandy last year. Did you uh, see that? Uh, oh, uh, Nick, fat, you would it's love so it. fun. What's Mandy? Nick it's, Cage. It's a. It was an what? indie movie. Fantastic. The, I don't want to tell you the plot because I want you to just watch it. Fun. All right. Great. Action. It's adventure. Da- it's dark. It's dark. It's a throwback. And, it's a, but it, he's. You're like that's actually good, genuine him. acting, not just like Nick Cage kind of. Well, it's very guttural. Doing a movie because he needs he barely the money. says anything, which is oh, good for I Nick can't Cage. Wait. Uh, I'm and, in. And really the, cool story and super, be- visually insane. Super gory, uh, but not crazy gory. Not like saw gory, but it's, like it's fairly. There's gory. a they, chainsaw you know. fight in it. We'll leave it at that. Whoa! <laughs> and, uh, I'm sold. Yeah, and you got to watch it. It's great. I'll just say this one thing. It's, it's re- like my favorite movie last year. It's, I'll say this one thing. It's a uh, it's a revenge movie. It's revenge. I don't yeah, want to get too much oh, revenge. Like movie. a Bronson. Charles yeah, Bronson sure. In a little, yeah, in a way. Well, yeah, but much like. Much darker. Well, uh, yeah. All right, yeah. I don't, don't want to give too much, but definitely watch it. Uh, right. This movie I really liked last year. Obviously, wasn't nominated, but I really enjoyed the Peanut Butter Falcon. Did you see that? No, is that about the retard? Yeah, the no, the- I didn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> it was great. I, uh, it was one of my favorite movies. We can't even get fired, but we're gonna get fired. No, I'm kidding. Re-choking. It was great. Good heart warmer. Uh, you'll love it. Um, I don't know. I know Shawnee doesn't had never saw it, but it was my favorite horror movie. Maybe second favorite horror movie of the decade, Hereditary. <sighs> Fantastic. Hereditary. Are you a horror guy? Tony Mar- Collette. Mar- I always called you Mike. Mar- <laughs> that was weird. Mike I've, known this kid, I've known this kid fucking 12 years. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't like horror usually. There's uh, no yeah. development. There's no I, character. There's no story. I, don't so like I think either. you might like this then okay. because this is kind of a, the most arty 
horror movie I've ever seen. Tony Collette, Gabriel Byrne, uh, this guy Ari Aster, who did Midsummer this year. I don't mm. know if you heard that. I did hear that was good. This that was his first movie. He's knocked out two great you gotta movies. Watch, you got to tell him though; it, it fucks people up. These movies. It's a there's a twist about a half hour in where it's nothing less than blindsiding. And I I was sitting watching it my house. I went. <gasps> I covered my wow. mouth with my hand. Oh, you gasped. I gasped. I went, holy shit, Ugh. I did not. Wow. I, get like, I get like... You would I, not be good. It would, it's very unsettling. It. It's an unsettling out. movie, and it takes, it's crazy. All but right. I like those kind of things, so... All right. I'll check it out. What's Do you it guys called? remember... Uh, Hereditary. Hereditary. Got remember it. Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene? No. No, nah, what's that? That was with uh, the uh, Elizabeth Olsen. It was kind of a cult. She kind of got abducted, but then she tried to escape. I thought it was a really good movie that got overlooked. All right. And I thought she was great in it. She's an actually a good actress, I think. Oh. Check it out. It's a good watch if All you right. haven't seen it. You want to talk uh, getting swept under the rug? Uh, Richard Jewell. I haven't seen it yet. Really good. See, uh, really good actor. I'm hearing it's okay. I mean, it's a solid movie, but the guy who plays Richard Jewell is so good. I've heard. It, you feel like you're watching a documentary. It's amazing. Now, and the really? story's crazy, and it's a true story. I know you're going to like this one. I can't believe this wasn't at least nominated in the whole 10 nominations years. Was The Master. Loved it. Master. I loved it. Paul uh, Thomas Anderson. That's another rewatch for me that when I went back to it, I loved Fantastic. the whole movie. Fantastic. When Kinda I first watched road, it, isn't it, I don't know, man. I love Philip Seymour Hoffman. I loved Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, Amy Adams is great in it. The story kind of meanders, but I I'm thought whatever, it was good enough. Like, that's Paul Thomas whatever, Anderson movie. Whatever film Paul Thomas shoots it on, I love. Like when he has the yeah. shot from the boat. Yes. And the, the way the water and the looks, music and it, everything. Uh, yeah, it's it's. It, I like how ominous it is. I think the acting is unbelievable. I actually, but I, when I'm rewatching it, I got way more into it. I the think the first time I saw it, I was like, the acting is some of the best acting. All I've my ever favorite seen. movies, I have almost been on the second pass. I go, oh, this is fucking great. But what it's, about that one he did with uh, Joaquin? I think, or was it Inherent Vice? Oh, was that boring? Uh, kind of a stinker. My God, that sucked. Yeah. I never Based on a out. fucking book, like I know that's a Most Thomas Pinchot book. A lot, of, it's a, like, lot of, a lot of movies aren't. No, I know, but I don't. I think he's just better writing himself and directing himself. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's such a great writer. He's such a good Ma, on his own. Like, is unbelievable. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. And then they see that, you're like, what happened? The master is is it's masterful. It's masterful. <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those things that uh, it's it it. I, I like it as as a whole package after a rewatch. Like, I really did. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, it kind of all over the place. The story kind of lacks. But if I, for some reason, when I watched that again, I was like, oh, I don't know why it, it, it did it for me. But yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah that kind of thing. How do you feel about Inside Lewin Davis? Loved it. I liked it. It's not my favorite color. I didn't love it's not my it. Favorite I liked it. But I liked it. Well, it's so personal. It's so the I, village, New York, yeah. working on your art and all that shit, getting mis looked over. It's it was it was touching. I owe it a rewatch too, just because it's the Coens. They're owed that for me. Yeah, you know and what I, I love mean? that look. So, yeah, I should rewatch it. Yeah, I love the '60s. I love the New York, the village. Yeah, the, I know. The I, I do love all that stuff. The Dylan-y. I, I love that era. So you I'm want unbiased. a Cohen in the past couple? Of, you want a Cohen? You know, it was Buster Scruggs. Come on. I yeah, enjoyed it. Buster what, Scruggs. It was good and bad. Some were boring, some were amazing. I think they're I all think well more, made. Yeah, yeah. They're all well and made. And some I love more than others, and that makes a good movie overall. This was one of my favorite the James movies. James Franco one's fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This next one, I know it's kind of maybe a popcorn book flick, but I loved it. It's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Never saw it. Oh, dude, it's great. Who directed it again? Wasn't there a famous director, right? It's, um... Is it Fincher? It's Fincher. It it's is. It's David Fincher. Yeah, He's I didn't good. see it. Dude, it's dark. It's great. I never obviously read the books. They're like. Uh, like teenage drama books, but the movie was kick ass. It's Daniel Craig. He's fantastic. It's really a really good movie. And it's a trilogy. And I was looking for it, and they just like, they were like, they we're never going to make the other two. They had all sorts of issues and whatever, but they're like, we're just never going to make them. And I was like, da! Because uh. the first one's really, really good. It's Rooney Mara. She's oh, great. I like her. Yeah. F Fincher kills it. He did Social yeah. Network. Hey, you don't. We, you're, people that listen to this podcast, don't get me started on Fincher. <laughs> they don't like him or you don't like him? I love him. Yeah. And Seven, I think, uh, and I think that he is criminally underrated. Yes. And I think the reason being is because he doesn't write his own stuff. So, so what? He's a director. And, well, that's the thing. But when the ones that really go into the forefront of, of the public eye and the and the, and the and the they be hailed by the critics – uh, are the ones like the Tarantinos, right, they're like one-stop shop kind of guys. Mm. Or the, the Coens, they do their, they're just you know, they do their, they have their own. Well, they're vision. in their own league. But yeah, yeah. Fincher, I'm like, you could put them, you put them up against anybody. I think, because style-wise, that's what I mean Style. before. 
When I was saying before Don't, about yeah. how, you know, Dazed and Confused, I'm like, anybody could have shot that uh, and made that. When you look at a Fincher movie, like, that's a Fincher movie. Yeah, when dark. you look at a Scorsese movie, editing-wise and shot-wise, you're like, that's a Scorsese Tarantino. movie. Tarantino, same way. So anybody who does that, uh, that's when I'm like, oh, my God. And yeah. I think he's also made, out of other people's material, really fucking good movies. Because that's yeah. what binds them as well. Like, that's how good he is when you're – usually the, the director can be put into the – into the back, into the you know, back, the back sure, of the theater, with sure, sure. that kind of stuff, where it's like, oh, this guy wrote it, and he's the famous guy who wrote it, but he deals with these famous writers, and you're like, oh, that's a Fincher movie. Like you think of it that more than you think of the guy who wrote it, right? Because even when you see Social Network, you're like, I, th- I think of Fincher before I think of Sorkin on, on Social Network. Interesting. That's me. Maybe that's my own. Yeah. Opinion. yeah. But Fincher uses a lot of uh, what do you call it? visual effects, and a lot of people don't like that. He's big and of uh, computerizing and all that shit. Yeah, but you know what? He was ahead of his time then because it's like, yeah, yeah, that's what's happening just, anyway, you know? You know, I met him and he is a mean guy. Is he? Really? Oh, yeah. I watched him fire a guy. I was a PA on Benjamin Button. No! And I watched what? him fire a guy and he said, you'll never work in this town again. He took his hat <laughs> off and it was right out of, it was like a movie. He was stepping on the guy's hat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but So no wonder he's friends with uh, Spacey, I guess. <laughs> Are they friends? Well, House of Cards. Oh, House of Cards. Oh, I'm not saying they're best buds, but they probably got along, no problem. Uh, why, is he mean? Spacey was known for being a giant asshole. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why, yeah, yeah he was, he was like aggressively uh, like trying to fuck boys. Well, I mean, that has nothing to do with being an asshole. I, but I've heard he's also an asshole. <laughs> All right. But who knows? I don't know. I'm uh, Allegedly. Another, so I saved myself. Another one on my list. Uh, I don't think if, you watched it yet. What? Go ahead, sorry. No, no, no. I was going to say Ex Machina. Loved it. Loved it. I, loved it. I told him about it. I go, you'll I love it, love man. It. Heavy, you'll love it. Heavy, weird, it eerie, me out, but yeah. really great. Not in a scary Not way. Not a hard way, no. Just in more of a, like, uh, the robots are coming for us I'll kind of way. I'll stick to my horror. <laughs> the movie horror. <laughs> All right. Well, that brings up another one. One of my, my, maybe my favorite horror movie of the whole decade was The Conjuring. Oh, yeah. You really told me you loved that. Yeah. Just a great straight-up horror flick. Never saw it. It's good, man. I avoid all horror. Uh, well, this might qualify maybe did you guys see a quiet place no love now it. they have a sequel loved, loved it, it. Loved wasn't it great it. and it's kind of an unlike anything i'd ever seen before with the silence yes where it's that's not a silent movie picture yes well so it's said. a really cool technique and it's krasinski right love that emily blunt too yeah she's mm. great she had scratch it's just my scratch or whatever got it uh the cabin in the woods kind of a horror trope I got three more. Three all right. more. All right. Never seen it. Cabin Fun. Woods. I, I, Fun. You would. You could stomach I, this I, I one. Could, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch that one. Uh, Snowpiercer. I don't know that. Was I that tried James watching Bond? it. Oh, really? That I one enjoyed from Jake it. Gyllenhaal? No. Oh no. It's with. Uh, is that on the train? Yeah, on the train. It's what Jake is Gyllenhaal. It? I don't think it's Jake Gyllenhaal. Is this James Bond? It's not. It sounds like it sounds a, like a Bond. It's a really interesting plot. There's like it's like uh, the Ice Age has hit the world, and this train has to keep moving. Or, like, everybody dies, and once it makes a lap, that's been a year. It's kind of a crazy plot, but there's, like, a cast system amongst the train, like, a, in classes. I watched 10 minutes of this thing. I couldn't... Oh, I thought it was really cool. That is interesting. And then uh, I like Creed, just another Rocky movie in there. Oh, we can, we can talk about the Creeds for another hour. The Creeds, they... I said this the other day. The Creeds make Rocky IV... That's, this is the first time I think this has ever been done. They make Rocky IV a better movie. How yeah, so? yeah. Because you need Rocky. Rocky Four is kind of a corny '80s movie, a little yeah, bit, right? Yeah. Well, especially Creed Two, right? Where it's, was, the yeah. whole but just having the sons of Rocky Four are now yeah, grown up right, and fighting, right? But watching, but now you need Rocky Four for, for part of the universe of the Creeds. All right, so it makes it by the fun, fall. great. Yeah. I love that the Rocky family is still going on and they're doing them well. You know. Because there was those couple, like, Rocky Balboa was okay, but, like, Five was a piece of five shit. Five was silly. You know? Yeah. And the Tommy, you know, uh, yeah. so. Well, that's a good. I think that's a great list. I think we ran down a lot of movies. Yeah, we went down a lot. Uh, so that was, uh, Mark's got to get out of here. We got, I got to take off as well. Uh, Mark, what would you like to plug, my friend? Uh, we'll do it real quick. Check out my podcast, Tuesdays with Stories with Joe List. We also sometimes cover movies, and uh, I'm all over the road. If you want to see some live stand-up com at marknormancomedy.com. Beautiful. And Andy. Uh, yeah. January 25th, Soul Joel's Comedy Club, Royersford, PA, Comedy Works, Saratoga Springs, after that, AndyFiori.com, The Raw Report, Sirius XM, every, 4 p- every Thursday at 4 p.m. 
And I am at Shawnee Time on Instagram and Twitter. And I have a weekly show on Sirius called Celebrate every Wednesday at 4 p.m. And you can follow that on Instagram at Celebrate Sirius. Guys, Mark, thanks for doing this. We might not have made one Seinfeld reference the whole time. I did. I made. Oh, maybe I didn't actually. Which is a rarity for us. Even when you had that mark, I thought it would have been literally. That's quite a feedback you got there. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. But, guys, let us know what you think of 2019, uh, or I'm sorry, the whole decade. Uh, Tweet us at Defend Your Movie. And uh, we got the, uh, what do you call it? It's a social media thing. Instagram. Yes. That's the place to be. It's the, uh, <laughs> the place to be. Uh, well, I'm really packing them yeah, in yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's at Defend Your Movie on Instagram. Follow that as well. And let us know. Review. Rate and review the show and subscribe and let us know. And we still have stuff that's happening with the show. It's in the works. And we're sorry for the delay of telling you guys. But it, it should be pretty soon. So, uh, contact us, tell your friends about the show, subscribe and review, and we'll see you next week, right, Andy? You got it. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.